The patient Jane experienced a serious traumatic brain injury due to a car accident at the age of 18 years. At the accident site, she presented a Glasgow Coma score of 4, white fixed pupils and decerebrate rigidity of all four extremities. The patient was hospitalized at the ICU. CT scans revealed diffuse brain edema and subdural bleeding with midline shift. An emergency decompression craniotomy was performed to reduce the intracranial pressure by removing parts of the cranium. After operation, Jane still displayed fixed pupils, no corneal reflex and no motor response to pain. She further displaced seizures affecting the left side of her face. The family was told that brain damage was devastating and that survival was very unlikely. The family decided to continue life support. Jane remained in the ICU for 12 days after which she was transferred to a neurological rehabilitation facility. At admission, she displayed comma, acute subdural hematoma right-sided, brain swelling, artificial respiration, abnormal pupillary functions, severe spastic tetraplegia, tracheal cannula, percutaneous gastrotomy, decerebrate rigidity of all extremities. Now, how will you proceed for the rehabilitation of this patient? What tests will you carry out for further diagnosis? And what therapeutical options you will opt for this? To learn the management of this case, let's study about the comma in detail on scaria.com.